Hi, my name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So I just want to state kind of a side note, but it's still kind of relevant to you guys, light workers, starseeds, etc. Um, it came into my awareness that um, children can have the test and stuff for COVID. And if you're a single parent and you're working, that if you have the test um, and your child has like signs of you know the covid and stuff like that then you can get a 500 pound grant or not grant you know money so that you can go to work or some kind of money i just want to say you know pre-warning the elite secret society i don't want to say it but i got to say it how i got to say it because i can't go around the houses far more intelligent and research and do more than what you do alone put it this way if anything sounds too good to be true it is there's a hidden agenda and particularly when it comes to children i would be very careful about what you're giving them even the test what is in what they give to the children because they know the children are the new generations and they know that poor people and 500 pounds sounds a lot of money so people will think, you know, um, I'll, I'll do that because the test, it, you know, and I'll just get 500 quid in um, on my child, uh, you know, just to say that they got signs of the, 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 the COVID. But I'm just saying pre-warning, you know, they, they know that uh, people don't have 500 pounds floating around and so i'm just kind of putting that out there um you you didn't have the money before so just do without it i'm just saying getting your children tests unnecessarily because if i didn't even know that there was tests that you could you know buy i don't know probably in a chemist or something i thought you go and uh, only go to the doctors if you've got signs of it but now they're doing tests so you can see if you got it before even you got signs what's in that test kit I wouldn't put anything in your body, especially, like I said, the elite secret society are not stupid. They know that if there's, you know, that people just listen to what they say and they know that people are just going to go out there and just take the test and use it to get this £500. They're not silly. They, they, do, they know everything is what I'm saying. It's us that don't. We're the ones, well, I'm not putting myself in that bracket, bracket asleep that don't um um why would you go and see your children are young and healthy and stuff like that anyway i'm just saying i just wanted to say that so the energy from this reading what i was picking up was unknowns but still thinking about the possibilities endless possibilities i don't know if that's to do with your person or don't know if that's to do with like what i've been saying in the collective reading about how i don't think it's on the galactic level like you know oh i i want to book sophia to see what my galactic skills are it's to do with kind of thinking ahead what you can do and this is i have a i've got to edit it a money program and i might advertise it the money program, and I talk about on this community a lot about rich and poor because, you know, I try to push more of the lack to the 1%. Most rich people just focus on the 1% because look at the burdens and dramas and how forceful you have to be to change, reprogram someone's mind. So they rich people just focus on the 1%, but my mission is to try to get you lot over to the 1%. That's why I always kind of talk about the rich the poor the famous but when it comes to the rich and the poor what poor do is they don't aim high they think about what you know what they can kind of achieve in the lack they don't look in the long term like when i started i was far more abundant i had far more readings when i was just known as a tower reader none of this galactic galactic school although i was doing image readings but it was more of like oh, okay there's something more deeper about my person people will book me as soon as i started to expand on to doing other things mission boot camp you know my not my views went down but the bookings went down 
But I know in the future, this is the difference between the rich and the poor. The future, this will be, I will be the first and people will then be catching on to, oh, well, look at this community. And then maybe I'm hoping they do copy me. Others say don't copy. I'm like, I'm hoping they do copy me and help um, and create other communities and etc. But of course, I lack now because it's actually too advanced, although I don't feel this community is advanced. I feel this is who you are, but it is still too advanced. So I'm not getting a load of people, but that's fine. Why I'm saying that is because rich people look for the future. Poor people think of the now. Well, I need the money now. I need it now. I need it now. But what you're doing, I think, is maybe thinking of the possibilities, which is brilliant because it's a start. That's where the 1% go is they like, I don't care suffering now, but in five years, I'll be okay. Poor people don't even think about it that way. They think, okay, I've got to live now, I've got to live now, I've got to live now. But there's things you can do, because in five years, you're still going to be the same from where you are now. It's not going to change. It's not going to magically, you know, in five years, you're just going to magically be better off. You're not going to get a pay rise. No one ever asks for a pay rise, even if they do, it's a couple of quid. You know, it didn't make any difference. So rich people always think to the future. So this endless possibilities that I'm getting, I don't know, is that you lot? I'm talking to them. Or is that you lot? Um, it's in the awareness of, you know, maybe there was a slight second of thinking about where you are going. You're thinking about where you could lead. I mean, like I said, now I'm not really out there. But within three to five years, this will be the norm. YouTube is the norm of TV, actual tele vision. Although um, YouTube actually the the... The eyeballs on YouTube is more than actually tele television and people are more get more famous from you. You know, Justin Bieber was seen from uh, YouTube. All these people. YouTube is the new television. Most people I studied, I got my uh, computer science degree from studying um, things from uh, YouTube because of I'm dyslexic. So I had to listen and watch. You see, it's a way forward. So making communities and stuff like this is the new way forward. So start thinking about your possibilities for the new way forward, not the now. That's lack. Poor people always think of lack. When you listen to rich people, they're always like, I was sleeping in my car. I was just working 24 hours a day in my garage. I stopped going out with people. Whilst all my people was going to the pubs weekend, I didn't do that. And do you think they say, I regret it? No, all the people that went to the pub, like later on, say, oh, you know, you, you, you're so rich and abundant and stuff, and they, was, they weren't doing that. So there's something about endless possibilities, and it is endless. If you talk to anyone in the subscription list, in this, in this community, um, from the subscription list, talk to any of the team up in here, and you will say they always give you downloads of stuff to do. You will never not be, I think I emailed the. Um, the other day I said that is there's always so much bloody work to do tower readers just a tower reader selling crystals just crystals because you're not connecting with source because this community is the new way forward and one of the so they give you loads of work to do because no one else is doing it with this amount of us up in here join us and be part of us because they always give you stuff to do it doesn't matter if everyone done exactly what I done and you we on the um and you joined mission, for example, because it needs to be everywhere, is what I'm saying. But I'm just saying that because, and there's boot camp, there's no excuse now, there's a, a, a easier boot camp for you to start. The thing is, just start, is what I keep saying. So let's jump in, let's see what the tarot says. I haven't been posting much, I apologise, that's because uh, David's here. I keep telling him, stop doing... He comes in and he just chats. I say I'm recording. He can see I'm got. It just chats. So I just pause the video and then I just forget. So <clears throat> I've got to work around it. So yeah, think about um, investing in the money program. Although you get that free if you're in mission, the main mission, not the beginner's mission. You get that free if you're in mission. <laughs> but 
but you can get it in installments. All my programs, my ebooks, everything I say is money back guarantee. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Is that good or bad? <laughs> I'm asking them. The Moon. Mm, three of Wands. Is this thinking about how you can move? No, it's not that. It is kind of. Hold on. Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, Three of Wands. Yeah, it's kind of like you can move. You're thinking about how to move past the unknowns with your person. That's what I feel with this line, this first line. I'll give an example. Is that re it's kind of relevant to this. Is it another David example? I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I always give my examples because you can see how I do it with uh, my person. So you can see that if I can do it, you can do it. And it's not that I'm strong or anything like that because what I do is just like, I don't know, I'll give an example. I'll just spit it out. Um, as I've been saying it depends if you're new but David said he wants to live here in February but he doesn't really like where he's living now it's coming up to the six months mark of where he's living so he's trying to get a six month contract so he can move out of that place where he's living earlier now regardless if he moves in here earlier or in February I he said he wants to move out come here and then move back out again because we plan to move in in February, right? Initially, when he said that, I said, well, I didn't. I can't remember what I said. I said something like that. That makes sense. Why don't you just live here six months earlier? But I heard his voice go funny, you know, a bit drop. So I left it. Next day, I said, that's fine. You can come and live there and go back out. It's, it's okay. This is this line. Figuring out what you can let go of, which is hidden, so you get your Ten of Pentacles. That's what I'm kind of feeling. Because you're pissed off with something here. And it's down to the individual of you. But you have to let it go and let your person go. But can you see, she's let him or her go. But he's in the picture, man. <laughs> They're still in the picture. They're still in the card. You see, it's like virtue is moral excellence. And that's what it's teaching you. It's like... Does it matter? For my example with David, it's like, does it really matter if he comes February, if he comes a month early? Does it, who does that matter to? The person you're with life. You see, I didn't actually think about that. I just don't like it when David's unhappy. Do you see what I mean? So I was like, well, if he, uh, why would I want him living here five months earlier when he don't want to? I heard it in his voice. So I, I didn't even think about it. The next day I just woke up and I just thought, yeah, he said no. So I'll look for somewhere else. But that's the kind of deeper layer that maybe or maybe you should be with this reading. Because you know they're your ten of pentacles, but there's something hidden that you can't pinpoint. What is it? Like, why don't they come live with me? Why don't they say they love me? Why don't you? That's the moon card here. But the same thing, it's part of your path with the two pillars because this is the twin towers right and once you get on your path and the three of wands is kind of waiting for the outcome but if you this is more about yeah waiting for answers they're saying but i thought if you wait for it depends if you wait for answers for themselves. Working on oneself. Yeah, trying to get the strength. I don't know if this is what you're doing or this is a suggestion to do. Like I say, I always give examples. That's what, you know, oh, my person doesn't want to marry me. Well, what's wrong with getting married when you're older? You know, who says you've got to get married younger? It's like David, <laughs> I remember when he first said to me, he said, I didn't actually say, but I I kind of saw 
maybe i can't guarantee it because he didn't say that I, he would have thought that i would see his kids when they were 18 and they were like six maybe younger when i first met him could be younger actually and um i was like what 18 they're like two three four <laughs> like that right but i'm like actually when you think about it um it, what people the average death is 70 right poor people rich people rich mind it's not to do with the body well yeah physical rich people always exercise and keep fit as well which poor people never really do but you know r r poor people the average person is 70 years old to die but that's r poor people if they were all rich the average would be 90 years old so my point with his child is that well i'm like well yeah 18 to 90 but i'll die obviously before that but there's still a good chunk of years it's the same with my daughter if I don't uh, allow to see her till she's 18, that I still got years to catch up. Do you see what I mean? I still feel them. I still feel the kids. This is going into deeper of unknowns. It's not just about the tangible. And I say that a lot about people who pass over. If you and you should be able to feel this as well. Upstairs, there's no negative. They've created a polarity only on this universe so that you can have that experience. Other uh, planets don't have that polarity of negative so that you know what to experience. You can't know what you want without having the polar opposite, which is the negative. Other planets don't have that. That means when you pass over this physical body sheds, you're in the enlightened being. When people die, it should be, hooray, they're going back home, they're released, this planet is so condensed, party, party, you know. But most people do the reverse, you know, grieve and all that kind of thing. It should be you're releasing them. And most people that are poor, that die, they die, you know, cancer, uh, weak, vulnerable. It's like, release them. I'm not saying, you know what I mean, I'm not saying go kill off people, but I'm saying, you know, it's not a bad thing that they want to release and go and, and, and have champagne on, you know, cloud nine with other realms of reality. This is the, um, the dense, the most, is it called den, den, density planet ever? Do you see? I don't know, I'm just saying. With the moon card, it's because of it's um, the darkness and what's unseen, the moon card. So it's like picking out and stop getting pissed off, but going deeper into situations. Like I gave my example with David. It's like, yeah, what's 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 um what's six, seven months? And i I thought and I even thought, oh maybe don't even come in, in in February, what difference does it make? I still see David. This is what this is with the moon card here. That leads to the Ten of Pentacles. Right? Your priority is getting the hardest thing really is to get to get to date your person on a regular and the quickest way is to have sex with them which the feminines always think is just shank buddy <laughs> which you need to learn to get over the knight of swords the path and the seven of cups this is yeah this is about your addiction to doing things a certain way and waiting for an outcome because three of wands to the seven of cups is waiting you're waiting for it and the seven of cups is like choosing a different cup choosing a different outcome that's how it is you're stopping yourself from seeing your person from a belief which it, it, it seems ridiculous particularly when like i know you most people can't get the concept of there's no time like, for example, there's no point me saying to you, well, if you said to me your example with David and I said, well, what are you talking about? There's no time. So it doesn't matter if he's coming in six months or seven months because there's no time. That sounds stupid. But with the moon card, like I said, it is about tapping into understanding who you are because you are here to understand things like this with the moon card, what is hidden. And like I said at the beginning, this this community is advanced in that way because although it is actuality, most people don't actually use those tools like I get you to use in this community. But the way forward, it I'm trying to make it in with your help and 
us, with us as a team to help you to use this. Most people that come into the community, into mission and leave, they go back to yoga, go back to meditation, they go back to crystals. This community is saying, listen, use the altered versus of reality that's in your awareness to get your ten of pentacles. That's what this is about. Choose a different cup. Stop being addicted, because this is addictions, to the old way of doing it from a rooted belief tradition with the, the tree here. This is work on thyself and heal, because that's the sun. Aries is first house. Work up, which is, you know, yourself, your personality, your character. That's the sun for healing. Your rooted belief system of how it that, um, how it's supposed to be for you. So stop getting pissed off with your person. Because you are here to teach others how to live and how to have relationships. Most soulmates need this advice as well. Because soulmates are just as bad. They just get with the location match, is what I call it. You know, oh, um, how did you meet? Oh, I was down the pub and, you know, she was behind the bar. I met her and she worked in a chip shop. Oh, I knew her from school. We went to college together. The location match. I'm not saying that you can't meet someone in your location if you're totally in love and you met them and they, you knew there was a the one. Also with marriage. Who says because you signed a piece of paper? Because love you fought in and out of. I don't know how old you are. It's different compared to, you know, ranges of who's watching. Are you trying to say you only went with one person? And if you did, unless it's your twin flame, you can love forever. And that's another thing with this with time. You love them forever, right? Forever. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what time you get with them as well. That's irrelevant. This is the hidden with the moon car. But this is to do with the location match with soulmates that they just go with someone and just because... Uh, they was pregnant, which most pregnancies is never planned. They stay with them for life. What a waste of life. What a waste to, oh, well, I don't want to accept, uh, upset the kids, right? Well, if you talk to them and say to them, I wish the best for you, and I hope you with someone who you love, and if you do fall out of love, that's okay. Isn't that better than staying tied to someone for the rest of your life just to make that kid happy? And what, did you care about your parents when you left home, right, in that element of it? You don't. You don't. This is going deeper. This is what this community is, to teach people to go deeper. They, they focus on the television version of it. The good news is that the television is coming away, but the bad news is that, like I say, most spiritual leaders are still following that phony way of doing spirituality, spiritual bullshit, is what I I, I I got that, nick that blatantly from Mark Passio. Spiritual bullshit. Walking barefoot in nature does fuck all. It gives you a, it depends. It might give you a little high if you're, you know, each alien being has got like elements, I'll call it, to like me. I look at the stars and that gives me a nice release. Someone else might walk in mother nature and feel a nice release. Uh, I had... Um, Marissa in this community who was very mother nature. So walking in nature would give her a good, nice, uh, you know, reboost. But I tell you what the best reboost you want to reboost, being with your person. That's all you need. You don't need them, but that's that's your regeneration. Because why? Because you're at home, your wholeness with oneself. You don't need to walk in nature. You don't need crystals. You don't need acupuncture. You get with your person, I promise you. You don't need to even fucking talk. It's just alignment with oneself. And that is the attention of the brilliance of the twin flame, starseed, aliens contract. Because we are here to help people how to relate without talking, right? Relationships. And this planet's frequency of love, but everybody knows everyone gets divorced, which is what's wrong with that. What is wrong with that? Oh, it's a godly contract, which most people don't even believe in God. I, I don't even know about God and stuff, but I know that, I don't know, I don't even want to go down there, but I know there's what well, I heard, some kind of gods within us. Yeah, that's all I know about that. So that's what's it, but this is different. This is a different energy, the light of source. I think... Did I do this yesterday? I do so many readings, I forget. This is about, let me see if you can see it. Yes, 
this is about your person is looking through clear yeah this is about addiction so there's a mirror to an addiction of and even if you're listening you're saying Sophia keep talking about addiction I'm not addicted to anything well you might be addicted not to do something for example do you exercise do you eat healthy do you tell your parents I'm not going around every Sunday do you tell that Jane who, or Bob who says let's go lads night or girls night out no I can't be bothered that's an addiction it, you you that's what I'm saying television makes it such a it's it's the unknown well for example Sophia no I don't eat healthy right and that's even goes deep because your version of healthy I promise you is shit it's absolutely shit if you look at my health program which will be quite cheap. I'll just put that out there. My most expensive program is um, the money program because I can make you into a millionaire. Money isn't to do with... Getting money isn't to do with what you know. It's how much work you want to do. I can make any of you far more money than me. It's about how much you want to sacrifice to do it. I'm going off track a bit. But the health program will probably be 50 quid. They kind of told me that from me off. It's going to be 50 quid and it's probably going to be as, uh, as uh, deep as the master program or twin flame program. So the Knight of Swords is your person kind of looking into, oh, I was saying about addiction. So yeah, what you're addicted to, because this is addiction as well. So there's some kind of, a, this is patterns. They're telling me, they're not telling me, but you know, patterns, some kind of pattern, which is a belief that your person keeps doing that you need to stop doing. It's not the same pattern, I don't believe, but like your, your person still doesn't want to live with you or still not living with you, for example. But what are you still not doing? That's what I keep picking up with the readings lately. Some... Oh, God. It's all raining and all that. Sorry, I just put, close the window, put my fan on. But yeah, this is what kind of pattern that you're not... It's like, even like, why aren't you jumping in? Why aren't you being who you truly are? There's no... There's, you know you're alien, you know you're different, you know this community aligns. And it's not just a cell, it's a simple question. Why aren't you jumping in? So that's why your person doesn't move forward. Because you'd be like, oh, I asked them and they don't have no answer. Well, same with you. You don't have no answer. So is that what you're going to do? Just stand there pissed off, three of wands, waiting for the unknowns, right? Waiting for your ships to come in. Your person doesn't just turn up like how your perception is of the tell live vision of, you know, I'm sorry, I was with someone else. I had to get my shit together, get rid of all the past negative people, here I am, let's take it day by day, let's move in together, that, that's delusion, right, that is delusional, if that was the case, A, you'll be a soulmate, and B, why do you feel alien and different, because you'll be acting the same as everyone else, soulmates, right, you were different for a reason, this planet's frequency of love, you are here to show people, like I said, go deeper with the moon card, what is hidden, what is hidden even if you are secret right in the dark left in the dark secret right with say their family that's still your person to deal with that right for example david's pa parents don't know about me his family don't know about me whatever right say in five years he still don't tell them and then he's got eventually right it ha it's going to happen right it's got eventually going to tell them right my my concern it's not concern but i just like chilling with david right not really a family go over and have a cup of tea and all that sunday lunch sunday roast nah that ain't me right i'll have to force the effort to do it so i'm all about seeing david now in five years when his family finds out about me they're gonna say david why didn't you say anything i'm gonna say oi don't look at me i told him from day one what's the issue <laughs> Go deeper on what the problem is that's making you pissed off. And I promise you, it's some belief system. 
the other thing I'm picking up, like I said, there's a pattern that you're not seeing the moon card that you're doing that needs to be done. Health, get rid of that friend, come out of that 3D job, jump into mission, book a reading. Why aren't you doing it? This is what this reading is. This is a time they're pushing you to get the strength. There's some Leo thing going on as well. Uh, Leo and Virgo. Um, yeah. It's Leo, I'm getting more with a strength card for you to get the strength to go towards your path and get your person. You have to go get them. You have to go get them. I've done a reading with, I think her name's Carla. I apologise if she's listening. Hi, I'm going to get back to you because you said I asked you to send me back. She's in boot camp. And I was giving her an example of the the twin flames and i'll give you a little bit here and this is actually her her twin flame situation so i hope she doesn't mind saying but you don't know her <laughs> so it doesn't matter right i was saying to her that it's like she builds and this is you lot this is a, a me meta thought right she has to build she has to get all the staff and all the equipment and know all the buttons and everything inside a spaceship right that's what the feminines have to do alien beings we have to know everything the ins and out of you know what the safety is all the thing within the spaceship but your person is the one who's going to fly it you both need each other right there's no point your person coming first and flying it if it's fucked the spaceship that's why you're first you have to get it all ready. But there's no point getting it all ready and he's not coming. You have to do mission and get your person. Come, come now, fly it. That's what this kind of journey is, is a kind of metaphor, right? So you have to work on it first. You're both as important as each other. The spaceship's no good doing all nice and pretty and all having all the team and it's just sat there not going to space. And there's no point having all that if you can't get no one to go to space. Do you see what I'm saying? This is finding out what this element that you're missing. You see, you might have all, you know, I watch a lot of space films and series, you know, and they normally have a lot of them. I don't know what they're called and I probably couldn't pronounce it. You know, people that grow plants in these space films. I don't know if that's true. But and then they want to go and learn someone how to grow plants on other planets right so they have that so maybe you are missing like oh well i've got a crew that can you know <clears throat> i've got a, a a medical team i've got a backup flying the spacecraft team i've got you know someone who can fix the satellite but you might be missing the plant guy there's something here within what you're doing that you're not pinpointing that you're thinking well it's not connected well it is like i said with the plants why would you think about that but they're like growing things on other planets there's something here that is stopping you which is hidden and this isn't connected to your person it's connected with you because why because you're first so the spaceship can't fly off because you ain't you're missing something that's on your path that's what it is this could be culture he wants to stay his culture and it, and his culture is against your culture what difference does that make it could be the age or something i'm getting older and all i don't know but it's different to all of yours but this is about choosing the correct cup so let me i'll take oh i've got it now so let me do that i'll take that one queen of swords intellect rational guarded I feel with your words, and this is reacting from reptilian. Queen and King of Swords are the most like, they're like arguments to me. It's not the most loving couple, is it? And this is Queen of Swords. So there's something about you want to cut your person off. You know, you're cold. You want to, you, you know, express and talk. And that's what other tower readers, that's another thing, which is, I don't like, well, I don't, well it's not that I like to cut out other tower readers. But the difference is, how do you distinguish 
between what's coming down as a download, which isn't a download, I don't know why they call it that, because it's a knowing, than to their own personal spill on the reading, meaning their own personality, their own point of view, their own ego, their own way of doing things. Like this Queen of Swords is about, to me, I get all the information, right, from upstairs, is about how you think and speak to your person and to pull back and go deeper right but then a tower reader will say but make sure you say what you want to say make sure it's clear to your person with the queen of swords make sure you put your point of view because you look pissed off from this card and you know how do you know if i'm channeling let's just say or it's my point of view that's why i always say i don't add my opinion i only channel Nothing I say is from my opinion. The only opinion I give is my examples of my situation with David. And then exactly I say metaphors and stuff like that. So you, most people go off. It could be half a reading of what's downloaded, which isn't downloaded. And the other half is their own personal opinion. And the other thing I don't like about tower readers is they tell you things that they would not do. I promise you, if they had a twin flame connection, they would not be saying, I'm just going to cut my person off. Because first of all, it's the hardest fucking thing to do. It is worse than cutting off a fucking child to cut off a twin flame connection. I promise you that. It's like cutting yourself off because it's like you. Your children is half of you. Your person is you. So they have no idea and should never tell you what to do from others' opinion. But you might think it's a guided. I'm just saying, I've just got to say that. That's why I always talk about other tower readers. This is about, like I said, how you think and how you speak to your person about the choices they're making, about their addictions and etc. and how casual they are and that they don't love themselves, but it's underneath you. You're doing the same thing, just differently. Just a different way of doing it. Right, let's get... Let's get a couple more. Please don't give up on me. I'm scared you don't love me as much as you, as I love you. I hate how long it's been since I've seen you. So with the Queen of Swords, some of you have cut your person off, like I say, but look, waiting for to see if they come back anyway. Or maybe thinking about making another choice. There is no other choice. The connection is so strong. Please go watch the Push and Pull in my playlist, the Twin Flame playlist, I think the Push and Pull is. And you will see how, how it's worse than death. Because at least death is an end point and you get to the point of grieving. But even like I explained in this video, death isn't as bad as what people see it as. I don't know why. It's because it's the unknown, isn't it? The moon card, right? But you're an empath. You're sensitive. You know when you think about it. Most know that upstairs is amazing. Because you just don't know who, who you're connecting with kind of thing. But you do. As soon as you close your eyes, it's a shitty experience when you're sleeping. Or is it good? That sleeping is the unknown. And you feel quite relieved. You feel healthy. You feel refreshed when you get up if you haven't got the enslavement of an alarm clock. Right? When you lie in and you get up, you feel refreshed. You wake up. That's the upstairs. Right? It's healing. It's re revitalizing you. Anyway, please don't give up on me. I'm scared you don't love me as much as I love you. I hate how long it's been since I've seen you. Like I said, it doesn't matter with time. <laughs> I go to David, when I see him, oh my gosh, you know, it feels like ages. And I see him pretty much uh, nearly every day, put it that way. It, it, it's literally, so it's like no time. You know that when you're with someone who you love being with, that time flies. That's the example of time. So the time is relevant in here. Please rewatch my 5D message. I talk about time in that. Uh, please don't give up me. I'm scared you don't love me as much as I do. That's your person. They they don't come. Can I say that? They stopped me. Why? 
I was going to say they don't come towards you because they're scared because of that love. And they're like, no, they do come towards you. It's your, your perception that they don't come towards you. They're scared of how deep that love bond is because they haven't experienced it before. It's like as if you're assistant manager and then you're going to jump into director, right, of a, a massive company. It's like I was saying the examples of love. Soulmates just dating people from the location match, then going to proper love. That's why they're scared. But they stop me saying they don't come towards you. They do. They Just because they don't show it and express it because it's hidden doesn't mean they're not coming towards you. And this is don't give up, but you're giving up. You're the one here looks pissed off. And that will lead your person going into, but he's looking towards enlightenment of going towards, look, the sun here, see it's a bit brighter here. This is the cloud, thick cloud above his head, right? But can you see he's looking this way, towards the sun. The sun is the, the planets, the sun is happiness. It's the most positive. He's going and looking towards, going towards happiness. You're the one who's pissed off here, so you're the one that's giving up on him. But this is about you just finding your path. I promise you, both, every single one of you that's listening to this reading, you can be as abundant as me. You can be with your person. You can find the mission that you want. You can have the money that you want. There's no, the, I give you everything to be that. Everything. So this is your choice. And like I said, is you're the one who's delusional. You're the one too addicted to a certain way of doing it. You're the one that's casually doing healing with Virgo here, right? You're the one. It's underneath the feminine, right? That's not doing it, right? You're the one that keeps releasing your person. Go deeper. And if you don't know, book a reading. Go deeper into why you keep releasing your person. Because they always come back round again. They always do. Unless you're really horrible and shit. And then they block you. And there's arguments. And there's rah, rah, rah with the Queen of Swords. Right? So anyway, uh, let's finish it with, if you have my, uh, well, they want this one. Oh my gosh, it's definitely about time here. Stop procrastinating. Time to start mission. It's you, why? That's another thing you lot delay. Stop, you know, get on with it. Once again, the card is around roots. Rooted belief system. You see, you are, it's all right. I'll start it next week. I'll start it next month when I have my money. I'll start it. It's like when? When, when do you start it? Just get off your ass and start. Like I say to some of you, you need to, I can't, I wish I could say in my reading yesterday, I wish I could say it was like, you just need to buy this program, you know, or it was, was like, you just need to do this. It's not a just, but it's not, it's not extremely hard. <laughs> you know, it's not overboard and you have a team of people who can do it. If Sonia and D, I'm not saying Lorraine and the others are not as brilliant, but D has two small children. I think it's three and four. I apologize, D, if I got it wrong. Three and four years old, right? And she does it fully in mission. Sonia has four children. I'm just saying. And um, regardless if their partner's there or not, right? They see, have their twin flames, uh, you know, situations just like me, just like you. And they do fully a mission and working on their twin flame. And that, to me, is one of the hardest things to do. Because out there in this world, this perception of females can't have, you know, if you're working full time, you've got to sacrifice the children and et cetera, et cetera. This community, you can, you can work for yourself and incorporate your children. Your children will be a part of the school. Your children will be running the school. Your children will be creating the community as well, if they so choose. This this community helps you to get a better future for your children. You're not just working jobs that is just about you, which you get, what, a pen, a biro after 60 years? You don't even know, it, you know, the person, who, the organization or whatever you work in, you don't even know who created it, who built it. This is about stop procrastinating, get on with it and jump in. There's no time. And we're here to under, for you to understand that element as well about time. I keep saying I'm going to do a video about that, but I've told them I'm fed up with doing my talk videos. They're pretty pointless. You know, there's enough 
on this community videos plus with the team of us now for you to jump in right so they give me the free will okay it's your optional normally they tell me if i have to do it but i'm like uh, it's op it's optional right if i feel to do it about time you see but so you can kind of understand that concept a little bit more but anyway that's it so yeah go to the website book me whatever you got to do it's time to jump in that's what I've been getting these energy lately. It's time to jump in. The very least you could do is go and look at the website. Look at the programs. Read up about it. Go to the playlist. I don't even think you lot are doing that. Go and do it. Think about your future. In five years, what you're doing now will be the same. All it will be, your children will be older and see you as depressed. Trust me. That's all they're going to do, see you as depressed. That's it. Right? Because you are. majority of you are. You're not doing things that you want to do. I'm out. Speak to you later.